Hey there, Ed Zimbardi with another network marketing tip. I'm in the car today. I have to run around, do a few errands. But I want to talk to you about creating a daily routine. A routine that's an income producing routine. You see, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And how we invest that time, the seeds we sow today, will create a harvest at some point in time in the future. Meaning if you're contacting and inviting people, reaching out to people, adding friends in your social network, making contact with them, at some point in time, those conversations are gonna become a harvest. It could be that day, the next day, next week, the next time you follow up with them. A good friend of mine from the past, Mike Lippman, who's co-author of a number one best-selling book, Conversations with Millionaires, really made an impact on my life when he came up with this phrase, you don't have to get it right, you just have to get it going. And that's based on the fact, if you look at the uh, technology sector and the industry where there's lots of software, Microsoft started with MS-DOS and then continued on with Windows and Windows 3.1 and so on. So you don't have to get it right, you just have to get it going, but what you gotta get going is the right activity, and the right activity is income producing activities. So the challenge is, what are you gonna set up for your income producing activities? I believe they can be making sure you reach out to anywhere from five to 10 people a day in your social networks. The three foot rule still applies today, even for the old school network marketers. What that simply means is that no matter who you come in touch with, smile. Reach out to them, say hello. Ask them how they're doing. When they say great, or they say, well, okay, and they ask you, how are you? Always respond. I'm doing fantastic, better than ever, excellent. Your positive attitude is going to win them over right off the bat, how you respond. So with that, enjoy that tip today. If you liked it, I'd appreciate your comments below. Make sure you share it with your team if you see value in it as well. Again, it's Ed Zimbardi from edzimbardi.com.